I don't know, I haven't found him. Is he interested in their box? No. No? No, they're not in their box. I looked. Okay. Where do you think they might be then? Let's see. Okay. Hey. Nice. Oh. 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 So oh. oh. Christmas tree. <gasps> oh, oh, they look cute. Look, Ari, Mika found them. Where's the fat ones? They're up there. Yeah. Where's the other one? There's one here. Can you count them? Are they all there? Who's that? Eddie. Eddie? Oops. Elfie. <laughs> Pick him up. Got him. Let mommy hold him. Elfie. Yeah. Eddie. Evie. Evie. And. Eddie. Arnie. Arnie. Wow. Do, you, do your calendar? Yeah. Let Ari find number six. Is it number six or number seven? Number seven. Number seven today. Oh. Seven. Christmas box. Christmas box. Oh. <laughs> you tell her, Ari. Shush, Martina. Yeah, I'm <laughs> no, that's Uncle James's birthday present. Uh, oh. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It says, what does it say? It says, Penny the pinkest polar bear. Penny the pinkest polar bear. <laughs> right. Who won some jam? Me. Martina, stop being a camera hog. Martina, mob off. He likes jam. Let's look. Mmm. Hawthorn berry and apple. Right, so who wants a slice of toast? Me. With jam. Aria? Mm -mm. Jam toast? No. Oh, are you a grumpy fish today? Cause I have a jam toast. Mummy, Morning. It's day seven. I did not sleep good. Mika does not like her bed. It is made of rocks. It's my own fault because we, Aria broke her bed. So we then gave Aria Mika's bed and had to get Mika a bed really, really quickly. And we just got one off Gumtree and it is, oh, it's, it's just crap. It's an old divan. I think we paid like 40 quid for it for the mattress as well. The divan and mattress is awful. And she doesn't sleep in it at all. So she's up all night. And I'm just tired. And I'm so close to just saying, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to buy her a bed that she wants. Because I just want to sleep. I just want a night where she doesn't go, Mom, my bed is uncomfortable. Um, We've already got like two duvets underneath her sheet to try and make it better. And it's just not. So. Oh, she wants one with a ladder. But. I don't know, we just had to have all four tyres done on the car. I can't remember if I told you, but last week, we, me and Aria were picking Mika up from nursery. And it's only like a five minute drive from nurse, to nursery from here. But it's like all narrow roads. And as I went out of our village, I just felt the car go mm, like that. And I was like, shit, I've got a flat. And it like, something just, it like burst kind of thing. So I put my hazards on. And it was school traffic, so it was really busy. And you can't overtake on the road anyway because it's so narrow. But I had a Mercedes up my ass the whole time. And I was driving like five miles an hour. And I'm thinking, fuck, I'm going to break the rim. Um, and we couldn't, I couldn't stop because it is just such a narrow road. There's no paths. There's no houses. It's just in the middle of fields. So I was like, oh, fuck. So I had to drive to nursery. Got there, rang Ben and was like, car's fucked. And I'll put a picture in of the tyre. It was so bad. It was like you could squish it with your finger. Um, and he came to rescue us. But then when he got, he put the spare on. And then he went 
to get a new tire and all four needed doing so we had to pay for all four new tires we had to get all four brake pads done and he smashed the wing mirror as well because he on the same road he did it on his van as well because there's a telegraph pole and if like if this is the hedge there's a telegraph pole like here so if like because it's so narrow if you're trying to skim the hedge he's done it twice on this exact pole so many people have done it because there's chunks out of it and um, because it's like the same color as the bush just took out the wing mirror so in a week we've had to pay for all new brake pads all new tires and a new wing mirror so we're skinned and it's christmas amazing so i'm like i don't know what to do she needs a bed anyway let's get on to some calendars oh i have to wear my glasses at the moment my head hurts all the time and when i take my glasses off things are fuzzy so i think i might need to go and get my eyes tested again um let's do glossy Da, da, da. Where's number seven? Oh, it's here. Oh, it is a patisserie de ban strawberry cupcake bath and shower cream. This stuff is lovely. I've had this before. You want some paper? Here we go, Mr. Fish. Do some drawing. So that. It's always nice. Is it undone? Can I sniff it? Ooh. Oh, it just smells so good. It really nostalgic smell. Like brings me back to being, I don't know, like 12 and getting, I always used to get like a strawberry cupcake, anything that I could find. Like I'm sure the body shop used to do something that smelled like strawberry cupcakes when I was younger. But yeah, love that. And then NYX. Uh, it looks like another lipstick. Oh, it is. It's a pretty one. Oh, after yesterday's shit show of that luminous pink monstrosity that just did not suit me. This is called Vienna and it is a soft matte lip cream. And it looks like a dark version of my favourite lip colour by e.l.f. Oh, it doesn't even look that dark. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look. That is really nice. Let me just find. This is my favourite lip colour. Oh, it's a bit i think it's a bit more purpley yeah this is my favorite lip color oh it does look really purple compared in the bottles they look quite similar but they don't lucy just i'm just gonna shut up hey princess come here oh what are you wearing today crown. you look beautiful did you have fun yesterday singing in your christmas fair you did what was your favourite song to sing? Jingle Bells. You didn't actually sing Jingle Bells though, did you? Because you just stood there shaking a bell and smiling. Didn't you? But you liked that one the best. What other ones did you like to sing? Mummy liked it when you all said, We wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, and Daddy not saw that. Cause... No, Daddy didn't get there in time for that, did he? Because he had to work. But then Daddy did come and we saw Santa, didn't we? Yeah. What did you tell Santa that you wanted? A toy shop. A toy shop. You okay? I've not got Tina. No, you've not got Martina. I don't know if everybody knows who Martina is. Do you want to go and get her? Go get Martina and we'll show everybody. Martina, for those of you that don't know, Aria is obsessed with turtles. She's always loved turtles. Moo cows. Ari, what else do you like? And bunnies. Um, a bunny. Bunnies. Turtles, bunnies. And moo cows. And last year, uh, last year for Christmas, when Aria was like two, I said, what do you want? And she said, a talking turtle. And I was like, okay. But I found one. This is Martina. They're <laughs> <laughs> Ari. <laughs> And she walks, but if you scare her, boo! Martina! How do we scare her? <laughs> ah! <laughs> that means she's scared. It's okay. It's okay, Martina. She hasn't had batteries for a long time because 
<laughs> you can see why. But now Mika says, you want your own Martina. How much? What are you going to call her? Tina. Tina. We didn't name this Martina. That is what it's called on the box. But you want your own Martina. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure if Santa can bring you one now. Because I think Santa's already done all of his shopping. You're right there, just picking stuff out of your teeth. And then putting it on my floor. Oh, no, you wiped it on my leg. Amazing, thanks. You're disgusting. Should we go get dressed? Let's go get dressed. This is Martina. We need to go get dressed. I'm going to put this lipstick on and I'll come back. Lippy's arm. Really like it. Daily update on the spot. Still here. Um, my glasses hurt my nose so much. Like I've only had them on for like an hour. They dig in so much. It's one of the reasons I don't wear them. And I've got like the little, I bought some little rubbery things last year, but they still hurt. I think I've just got the wrong shape for my horrible nose. I don't know. But I'm going to ring up and see if I can get an appointment tomorrow because the girls are going to the panto tomorrow with the nanas. So I'm going to drive them into the city and I might go get my eyes tested. If I can, I'll ring up today and see if I can get an appointment. I will see you in a bit. What are you laughing at? What is so funny? <laughs> what happened? You spilled lentils. I spilled the lentils. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wonder who did that to Henry. Wow, this is a big mess. Maybe Henry gone say it's delicious. Maybe Henry's gone say it's delicious. Right. camera hi guys it is i want to say about eight quarter to eight at night today has been a bit of a nothing day i'm afraid me and the girls just potted about around the house i am going to insert a little bit of footage of us making attempting to make some candy apples <laughs> that well you'll be able to see what happened but basically um yeah we've not done anything today um me and the girls just took ben to his works christmas do we dropped him off at about six and then came back it's really weird we got back and where we live it's like it's, it's a really narrow country road and two cars can go past each other but it's quite a squeeze and we've got quite a big driveway and when i got back there's someone like parked on my driveway but like if my house is here like we park so we're pointing towards the house but this car had like parked across my whole driveway it was like blocking like two thirds of the drive so I sort of like went to pull in and it had no lights on or anything because it was dark and so I like honked the horn and no one came out and um and then they literally just left I don't know where they went or where they came from I just heard the car pull away it's like who parks and blocks someone's driveway like on a narrow road there's no street lights or anything on our road and just left a black car didn't leave parking lights on or anything it's so dangerous um i took a picture of it because i thought it was weird and sent it to ben he said i should have reported it because it was just a bit weird that it was just sat there like all of our neighbors have got driveways so if it had been one of our neighbors friends then they had parked on their drive it was just really strange but yeah the weekend is going to be busy so there will be lots more fun vlogmas things happening but i am gonna go and watch teen mum and 
have, I don't know, I might have a beer, I might treat myself to a beer while Ben's out, a nice cold one. But other than that, that is the end of day seven. Is it day seven? Wow, day seven. It's like, that's like nearly a third through. Tomorrow will be a third of the way through Vlogmas, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I will leave you with the footage of the candy apples. And if you make them, please send me pictures on Instagram because I would very much like to see them. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome to some Vlogmas fun. Today, me and the girls are making marbled apples. I saw this recipe on uh, The Pioneer Woman. I saw it on her TV show on, I think it's on Food Network, and it just looked really, really fun, and the girls really like watching that program with me. So they asked to make it, and I said, yeah, so we're gonna do it, and I hope you like it. If you do, let me know. Uh, but I've got all the stuff in front of me. Uh, the only thing we are gonna struggle with, I'll just show you. We've got apples, we've got lolly sticks, got them from Hobbycraft, and then I've got candy melts. I've got red, green, and white. However, the easiest way to melt candy melts is a microwave, which I do not have because mine exploded about a week ago. So I'm going to have to melt these with a jug of boiling water with another jug inside it um so i am going to do this bit and then when the when they're all melted i'll bring the girls in i just don't want them to be around the boiling water so i will do that bit now and then me and the girls will come back and show you guys how to make the apples because they look really cool um and the girls are really excited about eating them it makes them eat fruit even though it is covered in chocolate <laughs> and, and right that was an absolute mission. If you haven't got a microwave, don't do this. Right, mummy's gonna go first and show you guys what to do. So first off, we've got the green in here. This is a whole packet. So this is expensive as balls. Um, and I really wish I'd got some coconut oil to thin this a bit, but I've just had to put a bit of vegetable oil in and see what happens. So then I've got two little pots with the other colors. And I'm just gonna kind of fling it across. What's in that colour? This one's white. White. Like that. Mine. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like that. And then what we do, we've got our apples on sticks. And mummy's going to dunk, if she can. So and twirl a little bit and see how it comes out. Not like the pioneer woman's you can kind of see the idea but my candy melts are so thick i'm gonna try and um thin this down again and then we'll come back okay so i think i've managed to thin it down i've just put in like a tablespoon of oil um so we're gonna see if this one works so we're gonna get our red and drizzle the red across the red is a bit thick as well and we're gonna get the white be really careful not to get water in these because it just ruins them if you get water in it so there's some white and i'm gonna try again so we're gonna dunk and swirl and come out Oh wow, we're gonna let this drip off this big bit. And it just all fell off. You kind of get the idea. It's like a marbled apple. They do not look like look, the Pioneer and Woman. And Right, we're going to put a bit more oil in the white. Hold my hand and let you go. Yeah. Hey, hold your hand. And, and, and swirl like this. Right. I swirl like this. We're just going to do white and green. And see what that looks like. 
Okay, Mika, it's your go. You have to dunk. 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 And then swirl. And then pull it out. Oh, Mika, yours is beautiful. And now mine. Mika's looks lovely. Oh, it's wow. mine. Well. Yours will be lovely as well, don't worry. Put some more on for <laughs> you. Now this looks so beautiful and mine smells enough. Dunk and swirl. And pull it out. Oh, are ya? Yours is so pretty too. Me too. And now yours. Mummy's gonna, mummy's gonna do this first one again because my mummy's first one was rubbish because it was too thick. So let's put a little bit of this on. What yeah. do you think this one's gonna look like? You think it's gonna be pretty? You think it's gonna be rubbish? Beautiful. Oh no! I got chocolate on your nose. Um. Oh no! I got chocolate on your nose. Get it off. Oh no. Get it off, Mom. Mmm. That took is yummy. Mm. Sort of. You can see the idea. I know the candy melts might be different um. in the States, but it doesn't work very well here. Mmm. Let me look. He wants a spatula of chocolate. Mm, mm, mm. Ready? Um. Who <laughs> <laughs> else wants some? Me. Oh. Um. Bonk. <laughs> Are your teeth are green? Um. <laughs> yum. Say happy vlogmas. Happy vlogmas. Happy vlogmas. Happy vlogmas.